bounce back to our performance here. And today I started working on my quarter panel. Well, I guess tried to start. Anyway, I wanted to give you guys a few tips, mostly for beginners. This is my first ever quarter panel replacement. So I kind of don't think you should follow me like exactly, but I think overall you, you get the gist of putting one on. It's kind of, especially on an old car, it gets really simple. Um, so just taking measurements every, every so often so you get it right. And, and it really, really helps if you, if you use another side, if you have a, if you have one, obviously, if you don't have that, obviously you can't take measurements from that. But what you do is you just take, like a, my dog just opened the door by himself. No, gee, you're not supposed to do that. What was that? Good Lord, now I lost my place. Anyway, if you take measurements, like from here to here on the corner, and then come up here or something and take a measurement from this edge to this edge, and so forth, um, that'll give you a really good, good place to go off of, obviously, being that it's another, it's come from the factory that way, so you can just put it back to where the factory did it. Um, now, some other do's and don'ts that I personally, I don't, I don't know anything about this stuff, but this is just what I've read, what I've seen, what I've heard. So, you know, just take it for, take it like a grain of salt. Um, you never want to use a corner. So when I say never want to use a corner, you don't, it just, loses the structure to it that you're welding on the corner one two it's hard to it's hard to blend that so like when you, when you do go to weld it in and you're not going to get that smooth finish all the way like this quarter panel has here so what do you do Especially if your quarter panel goes up over. If you can't, I understand um, you're where you're coming from. But here, this is half. I mean, that black line is where this body panel come to. So I've cut that much off all the way up. So anyway, 